Hi, welcome to Bolus. Are you ready to redefine your camping experience and embrace the spirit of rugged exploration like never before? Look no further than the Bolus Ribbit, a marvel of innovation and engineering that epitomizes the adventurous spirit of our great country. The Bolus Ribbit is about cutting edge features and unmatched capabilities that open up possibilities for those who crave adventure off the beaten path. Let's start with some specs. At 25 feet, three inches long, the rivet weighs 2,800 pounds dry and has a GVWR of 3,500 pounds, giving it 700 pounds of carrying capacity. The widest range of vehicles can tow a rivet. You may already own a vehicle that can tow your rivet, which means there's no reason to purchase a new vehicle. Now let's step outside and review the exterior of the rivet. I just exited out of the trademark Bolus front door. Now this front door is extremely unique to Bolus and you can load gear like kayaks, paddle boards, bikes, really easy to get in and out. On the front door, you'll also notice that there's a double lock, fold up step, porch light. On the front, we have that optional propane tank that's here, which is amazing for cold winter camping or anytime you want to have that extended heating off grid. We have a two inch ball, You'll notice safety cables, but no weight equalization hitches. That's because the bolus is perfectly balanced with a low center of gravity, so there is no sway to worry about while you're towing. Now let's move on to the side of the trailer. Let's talk about how the bolus is built. So we have an all aluminum space frame that is TIG welded together to hold that shape. We then use 2024 T3 aircraft grade aluminum, which is riveted together with over 5,000 aircraft grade rivets to form that trademark bolus shape. You'll notice here that we have a mill finished exterior, so that is unpolished. Also going on to a bit about our building, we have um, force fit poly ISO inside, which we then finish with either a few solid wood pieces, which are sealed on all six sides or anodized aluminum on the inside, which we'll dive more into as we go inside. Also on the outside, we have four stabilization jacks. We have a lockable storage compartment. We have the awning in there right now. Now that awning does go on either side of the bolus up here on the awning rail. We have polycarbonate windows and brass screens. And as we move back, we have the all-terrain tires and aero move. You'll also notice that this axle is lifted three inches compared to our other bolus models. As we move back, we have the emergency exit and we have the cassette toilet system. Let's take a moment here to talk about the cassette toilet. So the cassette toilet is removable. It can be dumped in any toilet or porta potty. You're not looking for a black water dump station because we do not combine black and gray water. The cassette is removed simply like this and then dumped into the toilet. Then when you're done, it's put back in. As we move back towards the tail, we have marker lights, those other stabilization jacks, tail lights, which are LED, and then we'll move on to the other side of the bolus. One thing I wanna talk about before we move on to water systems is that the aluminum in the bolus goes all the way around the bolus, including the bottom. That's really important because it means that there's no entry for vermin, which is especially important in an RV. Now let's talk about water systems. The rivet has a 20 gallon fresh water tank and a 21 gallon gray water tank. The freshwater tank is filled right here using this gravity fill. Next to it, we also have the license plate and license plate light. And then over here, we have the city water inlet, which is great when you're at a campground to tap into unlimited water. I'll move on to the gray water tank as we move forward. Let's talk about power next. The bolas can be charged in four different ways. First, you can charge through your seven pin from your tow vehicle. Then you have 400 watts of aero solar. AeroSolar is the name for the solar panels that are on the roof of the bolus. Additionally, you have two solar ports right here, so you can add an additional 260 watts of solar for a total of 660 watts of solar on your bolus rivet. You then have your 30 amp service. The beautiful thing about a bolus is that you can run everything on the inside of the bolus with just 15 amp, which is your standard household outlet. So whether you're plugged into an RV campground with 30 amp or just a regular household outlet with 15, you'll be able to charge everything. That 15 amp service also means that it's easy to use a small generator, such as a Honda 2200 watt generator in order to power your whole bolus if you're going for extended periods of time off grid. 
Now, this bolus can last indefinitely off-grid because of that aerosolar. It's generating more than what you're using for daily average use, which we include as the refrigerator, lights, and charging devices like laptops, tablets, and phones. However, if you're planning on using the air conditioning and the heating, that can also be powered off the batteries off-grid. This bolus has eight kilowatt hours of battery power. However, if you're camping in hot weather destinations, adding that generator might be something important to you so that you can run air conditioning for multiple days continuously off-grid. Now let's move forward to the gray water tank down below. This bolus has a 21 gallon gray water tank and that can be emptied right down here. You would connect a water hose. The great thing about a bolus gray water tank is it's not connected to that black water tank. So it can be emptied onto different places than you would traditionally have to take it to a dump station. As we move on again, we have those all-terrain tires, bolus aero move, which I'm gonna talk about more. And now let's head inside. Now we're inside the bolus in the bolus kitchen. Let's talk about the features. First of all, we have an induction cooktop on this side. We have a 12 volt fridge with freezer here. We have lots of storage in these two cabinets. A microwave, two storage drawers down below. All bolus doors have hard pull soft close. We then have stainless steel countertops and the kitchen sink on this side with lots of prep space, as well as all of the outlets inside the bolus are always live. So there's no fighting for one outlet with friends and family. Now I'm in the living room. You'll notice on the ceiling, we have four vents, uh, which all have brass screens and filter hot air really beautifully throughout the bolus. You very rarely even need to turn on the air conditioning. We also have LED lighting throughout, which is also dimmable. And you'll see that it's also controllable by each room inside the bolus. The bolus sleeps four, two in the bedroom, and then sofa and dinette both convert into beds as well. You'll see all of the storage in a bolus is always down low, and that's really ideal because it keeps that center of gravity low. I'll now open a few of the drawers so you can see what that looks like. Inside the living room, we also have really high performance fabric seating. We then also have the smart television on this side. Now we're gonna move back towards the bathroom. To do that, we're gonna open the door towards the bedroom and that's gonna be secured with a magnet at the back. And then we're gonna open this door behind me to close off the living room. Now the reason for this innovative door system is so that it keeps all of that floor plan away when it's not in use, but then expands to one big bathroom when it is in use. So when you'd use the bathroom, you'd close this door as well. Let me show you. So now I'm in the bathroom of the bolus. I'm here at the vanity. We have the bathroom sink with stainless steel countertops and faucet. We have really great lighting up above. I'm gonna turn on that light. Bathroom mirror and also lots of medicine cabinet storage behind. Here's also where you'll find all of your panels. So up above I have the heater system. This bolus has a hydronic heating system. So that means hot glycol is circulated throughout the bolus to keep it warm. It's also a really good time to mention that this bolus, like all of our boluses, is a Four Seasons RV. And that's because we have that monocoque design, so everything is inside the shell, including the water lines, which means as long as your bolus is kept warm inside, you're also able to use it during the winter. On the other side, we have part of the controller system. Let's take a minute to talk about the bolus power management system, which is really great with this panel right here. So like we said outside, the bolus has many ways to power, including solar absorption, 30 amp, 15 amp, all sorts of different options. And here, this panel really lets you see what you're taking in from shore, what you're taking in from solar, how much you're using, and what your battery is in percentage right now. It gives you a really great picture of what, how much time you have left at your current consumption and all sorts of other information so that you can run your off-grid adventure the best possible way. This is the air conditioning panel. We also have a dehumidifying mode inside the bolus. And then let's move back into the bathroom. In here, we have the emergency exit, which we saw from outside. We have that cassette toilet system. Um, the button to add water into your toilet bowl is just right behind the bowl with the uh, blue button. The toilet flush is down here. And the cassette toilet empties from the outside like I showed you before. Also in the vanity, we have storage down below. 
And on the other side, we have the shower, which has really beautiful wood inside, as well as a beautiful seat. Now let's move on to the bedroom. Now we're moving to the bedroom in the bolus. Now you'll notice this bed is a king size bed. On either side is a reading light up at the top. You'll also notice that there's a mini booster heating fan, which is part of that hydronic heating system. So there's warm air at your toes, USB charging, and the nightstand at the back. There's wood blinds, and you'll notice that really beautiful design where everything comes to a point. That's so unique for a bolus. And inside the rivet, we've done that in anodized aluminum. You'll also notice anodized aluminum throughout on the ceilings in the bolus rivet. We also have storage down below underneath the bed right here. Now that we're done on the inside, I'm going to show you how AeroMove works on the outside. This is an option for the bolus rivet. So first what I'm gonna do is I've turned on the switch on the inside. Now I'm gonna power on AeroMove on the handheld remote. Once I've powered on AeroMove on the handheld remote, I then need to engage the motors. This is a dual motor system, so each wheel has its own motor. We'll go over there to the move so we can have a look at it. On the handheld remote, I'm now going to engage the wheel and you'll hear a sound. The motors are moving back in place. Now I'm going to spin the bolus using AeroMove. AeroMove is a feature that's great for using when you're trying to get your bolus into its specific campsite or maybe into a parking spot that you wouldn't usually been able to maneuver it into. Now let me show you how it completely can do a 360 degree turn. Thank you so much for joining us for this walkthrough of the Bolus Rivet. For more information, visit www.bolus.com.